Hi guys, I am Dr. Manmeet and today I will be talking about FMF or familiar Mediterranean fever. This is commonly seen in Mediterranean population. The Turkish, the Armenian, the Italian are the ones which are commonly affected by this. However, now that uh, uh, apart from the Mediterranean population, it has also been seen in other people with FMF gene mutation. Genetically, when we analyze this problem, we find out that it is associated with mutation of the FMF gene, which is responsible for production of a protein called pyrin. And this pyrin protein is present in all the, you know, inflammatory cells like the monocyte, the eosinophils, and the neutrophils. Because of the mutation of this this uh, protein, there is a disorder, uh, uh, inflammatory response. So this FMF is a prototype disease of auto-inflammatory disorders. Now, uh, clinically, the patient will present with recurrent episodes. This is a classical position. A recurrent as, uh, episodes of joint pain associated with fever. The fever is going to be, you know, the episodes can last from few days up to few weeks, but uh, they usually resolve and they recur, recur after, you know, uh, unspecified period. Then there can also be an abdominal pain, which is commonly seen. And as this may be associated with some kind of fluid inside the abdomen. And when we take out that fluid, it's usually neutrophil rich. However, it is culture negative. Then along with, uh, along with this uh, abdominal pain, we can have, you know, joint swelling and arthritis, which can present. In the large joints, in lungs, there can be, uh, you know, collapse of the lung, associated with some pleural effusion, and it's also associated with some kind of cutaneous manifestation like erythema, and exercise induced. Uh, apart from that, there can be exercise induced myalgia. Now, diagnosis of uh, this disease is very common, with, uh, you know, in the Mediterranean population because the people, the doctors there are very uh, familiar with this disorder. However, uh, in other population, in the Indian and the Western population, it's very difficult to make. It is usually missed. So when we have to demonstrate this illness, we have to first uh, diagnose this based on the clinical grounds, and then we have to demonstrate this mutation of M694V gene, and we have to demonstrate it to be homogeneous mutation for uh, diagnosing this as uh, FMF uh, disorder. Now this uh, disease is also shared with uh, amyloidosis because it's an inflammatory disorder, so there is the production of serum amyloid associated protein which get deposited in the kidneys and leads to amyloidosis. After we have diagnosed this patient, we have to manage this. And the management usually revolves around giving colchicin. Colchicin that is also of around 1.2, uh, you know, is given almost daily uh, and the, the, uh, and cause a response in many of the patients. Those who are not responding to colchicin, can, we can try them with interleukin-1 antagonists like anakinra and ilonacept. These drugs have shown some response in this disorder. If you like this video, don't forget to like and share and also to subscribe to my channel for more videos.